Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jam family. Mira Nama Anjalehe. And today we're so excited to watch the Trump campaign has released the first commercial for Indian Americans featuring Prime Minister Modi. And this is amazing. We know reading the description it has pieces from Howdy Modi, um, yeah. which we reacted to and we watched. Um, it has stuff from Namaste Trump when Trump went to India and had a huge crowd too. Huge welcoming for both of them, I feel like. Yeah. Um, you know, when Tr Modi came here, there was a huge stadium full of people. Um, it was just amazing to watch. And then to see them parade around holding hands, like, I feel like since then, the, the friendship has just grown between the two of them. Yeah. And... I feel like there's been a lot of good things in the works. Um, I would love to see this continue, the India-US friendship continue. And I don't know if it will if people change in the White House. Yeah. Um, we know Trump is an honestly supporter of India. He always has been before the presidency and he celebrates Diwali in the White House. Um, he talks highly of Indian Americans here. Um, he's never said anything ill against India ever. Um, and he speaks up when stuff happens in India. Yeah. Where we know Kamala Harris, who likes to use her Indian heritage now when it's time to get for your votes. votes. Yeah. She's the only time she's mentioned her Indian heritage, though she doesn't say India. Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, but she talks about her grandmother and eating Italy, though when we looked online, we couldn't find any pictures of her eating Italy. Hmm. I know politics isn't perfect. You know, you kind of have to go with who you feel like is going to be do best for the country. And right now, you know, Trump's words are not always spoken well, but his policies have worked well for the country in the last four years. Yeah. Coronavirus I kind of have to give him a little slack on that. That was a huge curveball. And he's been doing his best to give companies and people money to stay afloat during this time when things had to shut down. You know, um, I don't know what would have happened if, if Hillary had been. Nobody knows. Yeah. Um, you know, in the last election, we, we didn't like Trump for a lot of his personal views, for a lot of the personal things he'd said on camera. Um, so we voted for Hillary because we felt like she had the better, um, she would have done a better job. But after seeing him in office and seeing some of the things that he can do, seeing the way he treats India um, with such respect and um, such high regard um, is really has won our hearts over. Yeah. So I look forward to watching this again, these clips, because um, my favorite part from Howdy Modi is when Modi introduced Trump to his family um, and then told everybody in different languages that everybody at home is okay. He needs no introduction. His name comes up in almost every conversation. The President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. President, you had introduced me to your family in 2017. And today, I have the honor to introduce you to my family. America loves India, America respects India, and America will always be faithful and loyal friends to the Indian people. We have come to know 
the splendor of the four million Indian Americans. They are truly spectacular people. Thank you all for the contributions you've made to my beloved country. You can definitely see the love between India and the U.S. in this, like Trump and Modi. Um, their friendship has grown so much in this last year, I think, yeah. since Modi has come for Howdy Modi. Um, we've seen him at the G7 together. We've seen him um, in a lot of different um, instances together. And I feel like it's it's making the connection between India and the U.S. much stronger. I would love to see, you know, we know Modi's opening the doors for companies to come in. I would love for Trump to give them incentives and Modi to give people incentives and, and, and say, like, if you need to move out of China, this is the place. And it would be amazing. We know yeah. the quality would come out of India. Um, we want India to be the next made in India. Right. But Trump's love for India is not blood driven. It's true. Yeah. You know, you Kamala has such a blood driven kind of thing for her Southeast Asian roots that she can't even say she's from India on India's Independence Day. No. Yeah. And like we said, it's hard to find pictures of her with anything that's Indian related yeah. on the internet for somebody who claims to love Southeast Asia. It's just hard. Like, we know in the past she's been against the Article 3, the removal of Article 370. She talks about India being a bully to Kashmir. She doesn't approve of the CAA bill. Um, you know, and when it's 20 soldiers are martyred at the border, there's not a word that comes out of her mouth. So, you know, being here in the U.S., if you have love for India, I don't think Biden and Kamala are your people. As much as she's trying to pull out her Indian roots to show everybody she can take some of those Indian votes... Even if she speaks in Hindi the whole time, I don't think she truly loves India no. when she speaks so much against it. You need to make sure that whoever you vote for, whether it be Trump or Biden, that they have the values that they're going to do good for the country. I feel like if you want the love for India and the U.S. to continue, your vote should be for Trump. Yeah. And I feel like he's the one person that will hopefully um, slap China with some restrictions and get some answers maybe with this coronavirus. Um, Biden, I don't know. I feel like he's got too much going on in China to, to slap them too hard. And Kamala's love for Southeast Asia is just that. Yeah. So, this video was awesome. I think they did a really good job putting it together. Yeah. Um, the clips, the love for the U.S. and India. So, like we said, we, we love India. And um, so, you know where our vote's going. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we did. And share, share, and share some more, especially if you live here in the U.S., um, Keep it going. Yep. Right? And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.